April 8, 2003, U.S. forces were fighting their way into Baghdad. Ukrainian cameraman Taras Protsyak of Reuters News Service was filming the action from the balcony of the 15th floor of the Palestine Hotel. Joel Campagna of the Committee to Protect Journalists, the CPJ. Several journalists who were in the Palestine Hotel had been monitoring a, a very intense battle around the Tigris River, uh, in which U.S. forces, a, a tank battalion, had engaged with Iraqi forces and battled alongside the uh, Jumhuria Bridge. And journalists had been watching this uh, from the comfort of their balconies on the Palestine Hotel. Approximately 150 journalists were staying at the hotel. They saw two U.S. tanks across the river. Some U.S. commanders on the ground had been aware of the presence of journalists in the hotel. A uh, U.S. commander had been frantically trying to uh, determine the exact location of the Palestine Hotel so that uh, an airstrike he was about to call in would not harm uh, journalists in the hotel. U.S. military officials first tried to say they were not aware the Palestine was full of journalists, and they also claimed that hostile fire was coming from the hotel. But news organizations with staff at the Palestine had given the Pentagon its precise coordinates before the war began and journalists there insist that no one was firing from their hotel. This is the account the U.S. battalion gave to NBC cameraman Craig White after the attack. From the angle, they weren't sure that it was the Palestine. They knew someone was directing the fire. As they looked up into this high building, they saw a person with binoculars and a walkie-talkie. Every time they would change direction and move, the binoculars came down, the walkie-talkie came up. Paul Holmes, editor at Reuters. One of the two tanks fired a tank round. It hit some lattice work on the outside of the 14th floor and, and ricocheted off and exploded on the 15th floor. And, and Taras uh, was killed by, by shrapnel. And they very mistakenly thought that two journalists were spotters for the Iraqis. Protsiak is survived by his wife and eight-year-old son. Spanish cameraman Jose Cozo was also killed in that attack. He leaves behind two young children. The CPJ conducted an investigation into the incident. It concludes the attack was not deliberate, but could have been avoided. It blames bad communication. The U.S. Department of Defense conducted its own internal review, but despite repeated requests, has not made the full report public. A short news release concluded that the tank unit acted in a, quote, proportionate and justifiably measured response, but it never explained why U.S. commanders, who knew the Palestine was full of journalists, failed to make that clear to their forces on the ground.